Hey guys, it's Carrie. Welcome back to my channel. I know today is May the 4th, and I should be doing something Star Wars themed, but unfortunately I don't have anything new to show you guys. I may or may not put a special video out. I do have to go out and get some essential items here soon, so maybe there might be a special video out for that occasion. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> but for now, uh, today I, I received a package from Amazon Prime, which I wasn't actually expecting till Wednesday. Uh, uh, so today is Monday. So uh, yeah, I, I'm excited that I got it a little bit earlier. There should be three items in this package. I always get worried that they don't send me the right things. It's happened a couple times during this epidemic. But that's what I get for ordering things that I don't necessarily, well, aren't deemed as necessary around now. But, um, so, <laughs> if there are three in here, only one's getting open today. And I guess that'll be decided. But, I'm sure maybe, maybe some of you that have been watching my channel know what this is probably going to be. In fact, you'll know what this is going to be because it'll be entitled in the, uh, in the descriptions. Yeah, you see that peak? <laughs> so yeah, we have more of the Comfy Princesses coming out here. I don't know which three they are though. Okay. Yep, so we have Aurora and Jasmine. Hmm. Pocahontas and Ariel. Ariel. Ariel, Ariel. And Rapunzel and Tiara and uh, Tiana. So let me just take that away and then decide which one I'm going to open with you guys today. Uh, I know that I've been really excited about the Rapunzel one, but Ariel's my favorite character. Hmm. <laughs> I think we're going to go with the Rapunzel and Ariel pack. Which is kind of, I don't, I, I don't, I don't think that they paired anybody particularly with anybody. Although these two are really natural princesses when you think about it. Because, you know, um, Pocahontas and Ariel. So, um, land and sea. The boxes aren't really anything different than the one that we saw from our first review. Uh, the only difference is that this one says... Oh, you know what? I wish I didn't throw away the box, because the original box that I got from the other girl said Comfy Princesses, Pocahontas, and Ariel right here, but it was in bold print and that's all it said. This one it says in four different languages, so I don't know if um, one was created for international. Yes, okay, so here's, here's the thing on this one. These are international ones. Which makes sense because these ones came from Amazon, and then the other one that I got came from a seller that was within the U.S. So, yeah, that, that's my assumption, that there's two different um, versions, one for international and one for just the U.S. So, um, that being said, uh, the only difference is the fact that there's four different languages on the back here instead of uh, the one. The box itself is exactly identical except for... It says Pocahontas right there, and Ariel right here with their, with their images from the movie before they turned comfy. So, let's go ahead and get this box open. And again, I kind of like to show just a quick view of them outside the plastic still on the card. And that's them. Okay guys, before I go on to do the actual doll reviews for this uh, video, I want to point out that the backgrounds on these girls are different. I thought they were going to be the same, because, you know, that's usually how Hasbro and Mattel play it with Playline dolls, but um, they're not. So I kind of bit the bullet and threw away the original top part box of the dolls, but I'm pretty sure that the out outer layer of the box is the same just versus the uh, the names and stuff. But um, I see that there's actually movie shots in the back of these. So I'm going to try and hang on to them. I might end up doing some sort of diorama with them later on. Who knows? But 
it bums me out that I threw away the box top, the, the box to the uh, top part of this. It doesn't matter though because it was kind of damaged anyway. But uh, you can see obviously there's difference. You can see that the the, the, uh, the ottoman right here on this one. You can see that there this one has the couch and then this one has the door, the doorway coming in, and that's the one we did the last review on. And then you can see the different uh, changing tables. So you can obviously tell this is Tiana's, this is Rapunzel's. Um, I think this one might be Ariel's, I'm not sure. And then over here you can see uh, Cinderella's. And then this part kind of goes right here. So I, I don't... It's a little off kilter because this chair's not there. It sort of kind of goes like that, but this, the drawing is a little bit off because that chair, the couch doesn't exist in this one, but I don't know. I guess I, I'm going to king onto these and see what happens. And then at the end of me doing all the reviews, we'll take a look at them all together. I just thought I would throw that one in there. Okay. All right. So let's start with Pocahontas. Okay. So as we already know, before I get into her actual description, we know that um, they all seem to have uh, the same points of articulation. So they have the head moves up and down and back and forth. Uh, we have the shoulder articulation, the elbow articulation. Although the elbow and knee articulations don't bend as much as we would probably like them to, they do, they do throw that in there. So they do have that much posability. It's not a straight out arm or, or a bent, just a stick, stuck bent arm. And then we have um, wrist articulation and rotation. Uh, of course, the uh, elbow does rotate too, and so does the shoulder. Uh, we don't have anything on the waist, but we do have hip articulation, so they go back and forth and, and uh, out and in. We have knee articulation that's about as far as they bend. There is no... Um, and then they rotate, I think, yes. So, as for her description... Pocahontas has the darker skin, uh, probably not as dark as the animation, but I'm not sure. But uh, she does have the darker skin, indicating that, you know, she's uh, a Native American. And she's got her big eyes, big brown eyes. I like that they have a little bit of dimension to them. They're not just staring straight into your soul. <laughs> so they do have a little bit of... And then she has these really nice, glossy, neutral tone lips... Not much on the um, on the makeup line, but that's pretty much to be expected. She's pretty natural. And then she has this side part here, and really, really soft, silky, shiny black hair that comes down to her butt in the back. And let's see. She has this long quarter sleeve. Yeah, she has a quarter sleeve T-shirt on that has a a large collar line. The, the collar line and the uh, the end part fabrics are a little bit of a lighter blue than the rest of the shirt. And then for the graphic on the shirt, it is not it is not a sticker. It is actually printed. It's a wolf howling at the moon. Obviously, a reference to. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me, a, a reference to her song in the movie. She has these really awesome um, two-tone tan color pants with a lot of sparkle on them. And that is also a reference to her character. And then she has light brown, I'd say medium brown, flats on here with her signature pointed feet. She has a really nice jawline. I do love the fact that they are very personal with the moldings for this uh, for this line. That they're not just the same heads, just painted over and over again. But I think that that's pretty much uh, the diversity that they have with the princesses in general. At least with Hasbro. Um, so we're going to stick her in the back here. We're going to take a look at Ariel. Ariel, as you can see right away... <laughs> Has no shoes. And here comes Blaze to knock over some accessories. Let me just put these aside. She wants them. Okay. So here's Ariel. Ariel comes wearing a... Okay. 
<laughs> where do I start? She has really big eyes, and they're looking down into the left. You can see that. she has, They're very bright blue, and then she has some very expressive eyebrows as well. And a big smile. She has a very light skin tone with a little bit of blush. And light pink lips with an open smile. And she has a small amount of pink eyeshadow underneath her eyes. Uh, her hair is also parted. Parted on the other side. Um, like they normally have it. And she is, her hair is pinned down in the back. I think I might actually take those elastics off. I wasn't going to. But I think in the long run it's going to help. Take the box hair away. Okay, so her hair was to pin down like that for the box, and then we have some elastics to remove here. Okay, there. Now, okay. So, she has a, a snap-on comb in the shape of a star, and it's kind of a pearlescent pink color. And then she has a little ponytail here. Now, her hair is long and soft, but it is kind of thin. It's on the thin side, which is a little sad, but uh, there is no uh, visually, there's visually no, uh, what do you want, bald spots, so that's good. Um, she has the same type of artic articulation that everybody else has. Like I said, no shoes, because Ariel. <laughs> and um, her pink shirt has shoulder straps pink shirt. I'm not colorblind, I swear. <laughs> so it's more of a lavender purple. And then we have a white words on there that says gizmos and and who's it's and what's it's and snarf blats and dinga hoppers. Uh, basically a combination between dialogue between her and Scuttle and and a song that she sings. Combo pack there. Uh, her straps are the same sea green as uh, her shorts here. So we have these shorts that are sea green as well. They look very nice. They have a design of scaling, which is perfect to indicate that she was a mermaid. I like this outfit a lot. And then the, uh, the hems on the bottom of the shorts and the waistline are hemmed in this um, metallic-y, sparkly... Um, thread to give it a little bit of a glimmer. And then we have a dark green bow right in the center of her pants. Here's the back of her. So yeah, her hair is very very soft and shiny. That's very nice too. Um, I like the expression on Ariel. It's a different one that we haven't seen before. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> that Oh, and let me just show you their accessories here. So, Pocahontas came with a coffee cup here. Let's see if I can get that to... So, it's a coffee cup. Unfortunately, there's nothing in it. It's a, it's a little warped, too, I think, from being in the box. But if you look up close, see if it'll get that to focus. It was focused already. <laughs> you can see Mickey Mouse head on there and some sparkles. So, I don't know. She may have picked this up at the uh, parks. But it is a, uh, a nice neutral color, and it fits right on her hand here, should anyway, for her to hold. There we go. That's probably the best accessory I've seen so far in this line. All the other ones kind of have like a thumb thing, like this. This is Ariel's, uh, I don't know if it's a smoothie. I think it's a, it might be a, it could be a smoothie, it could be a, a milkshake. But the straw and the whipped cream on top are a pearlescent pink, light pink, and then a pink, um, I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be transparent and you can just see the pink inside, but it is pink. And then the little hand thing here, and it has a big green dot, just a dot on it. I wonder if it's supposed to be like a Starbucks, but they don't have licensing for Starbucks, so they couldn't, uh... So here she is holding it with her thumb. It looks kind of alright, I guess. I love their feet. 
now I can give you a closer up of, her, of their feet without the shoes on. Because, um... Uh, the shoes are elastics on, and I'm not going to take the elastics off, because I don't know how stable they actually are on the feet. But that's them. That's, um, those are... That is the, um, Pocahontas and Ariel pack for the Comfy Princesses. And stay tuned. I have, tomorrow and the next day, I plan on doing reviews for the other two girls that came in today. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.